Among the regions where UNICEF has life-saving programs are Latin America and the Caribbean. That's where I worked as an intern for eight months, and my job was to document the stories of children and mothers whose lives were a constant struggle because of poverty, isolation, and disease. I will never forget the courageous, resourceful people I met. There's Elisa, the HIV-positive mother of four whose husband had died of AIDS. Elisa spoke to me of how her seven-year-old daughter has inherited the virus and is very sick. Elisa's heart is breaking about her little girl, but this brave woman, with UNICEF's help, has kept herself as strong and healthy as possible by educating herself and taking life-extending medication called ARVs. And Elisa has worked with UNICEF to keep her youngest child, one-year-old Siama, healthy and safe from the virus by participating in a UNICEF-supported program to prevent the transmission of HIV from mother to child. <laughs> then there's Jimenez a 15-year-old boy who had to walk four hours each day to get to school and back. Jimenez is so intent on getting an education that he pays for his own school tuition, books, and supplies by working clearing out patches of jungle with his machete. He dreams of becoming a doctor and helping the people of his impoverished neighborhood. And of course, there's Anna. Anna's mother died of AIDS when Anna was very small. And for much of her childhood, she has lived a life of neglect, abuse, and isolation. HIV positive herself, Anna is now the teen mother of baby Beatrice and is determined to make a better life for herself and her child. With the UNICEF-assisted program giving her baby care, Anna can now go back to school and get the education she has always dreamed of an education that will help her break the cycle of poverty, illness, and abuse she has struggled with throughout her young life. The one thing that was really driven home to me during my time working with UNICEF is that no matter where we live or who we are, people all over the world want pretty much the same things. We all want health, safety, some basic comforts and the chance to live, learn, be part of a loving family and community, and grow up to be productive, happy adults. Every child in the world deserves to have a childhood like this, and all of us need to work together to make sure that every kid gets one.